here's reverse engineering calculus. I have um, a um, a song uh, for the background. Uh, that's going to be. Um, Mama said there'll be days like this. The Shirelles uh, cover. Uh, I'm gonna have. Uh, it's just sort of a, a, a math chart, and apparently uh, Isaac Newton uh, did something similar to this. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Uh, here's just a math chart. That's going to be the x axis and here are going to be the y axis um so here's quadrant one quadrant two uh quadrant three and quadrant four over here um so let's just say that's number 10 over here the difference of uh, 20 over here is going to be negative 10 and here it's going to be the same thing there and a difference of 20 down there um, okay so if I want to reverse engineer a math equation that's going to have my last name right there let's just say this is going to be uh, number one and that's going to be one and one and here's uh, going to be x equals uh, 1 and y equals 1. Okay, so that's going to be x equals y for that. And that's just for the first plot right here. And the second plot is going to be 1, the coordinates of 1 and 2. And here's going to be the X position and the Y position over here. Um, that's already sort of turned into a mess. Um, that's going to be a different equation. It's not going to be X equals 1, Y equals 1 for the second plot right here. That's going to be... See, so the song's already over, and I'm not even past the first plot. So if I have... If I'm looking for the equivalent of this equation is going to be x equals rather y equals y equals x plus 1 okay so for the first plot it's that the other one is y equals x and then it's going to be the third plot is going to be x plus 2 and so I'm going to try to put all these different equations together. I've already ran out of space and the song's over, so that's just part one. And so the saying of P's and Q's, I looked up the meaning of it, and it said to be on best behavior is what it means. Um, that's as far back as I can go, so I'll make another quick chart here. So here's the P and Q right here. Uh, P is going to be the uh, 16th letter, and Q is going to be the 15th over here. And then that's not right. I think I'm looking for one of those is supposed to be the first letter of my first name, D. So here, right there in quadrant, this is quadrant two, with a negative y value and a positive x. And here's going to be quadrant four uh, with a positive y. Down here is negative y. So that's just uh, video one, and this is calculus. Uh, where calculus comes in handy, for example, um, say, is um, for measuring the size of irregular objects. So it's really simple stuff uh, that everyone should know. Not everyone should know, but everyone can pass a test of uh, basic uh, area measurement, say for a rectangle, 
or a cylinder. Um, I'm, I'm drawing a three-dimensional figure here. But sometimes for like a piece of firewood, it's going to be like a, a, a irregular shape, sort of like that. And if it's too big for the fireplace, um, and it's poking out of the fireplace, it's better to do the, the uh, calculations before putting it in to see if it'll even fit in the fireplace. And so I found that out by asking a calculus professor at a university, why, you know, when am I ever going to need this stuff? And he said, you know, to see if it fits someday. And he's talking about a piece of firewood in the fireplace. Um, okay, so again from the, the first video, I tried to make my initial, that's supposed to be a D for David and P for Petrino. Uh, similar to the New York Yankees or Tony Montana uh, logos. Montana, uh, Tony, they look like that. And then so I have David Petrino over here. And it sort of looks like that cube thing. Uh, and can be extended to make a cylinder. I keep calling it a cylinder. Um, I've never seen this erased by a touched area. That is an awesome feature, I didn't even know. And here's just the built-in um, the built-in uh, thing on, uh, I like that, okay. So that's just part one. Uh, the built-in uh, photo editor of um, uh, Android. So a lot of the videos I make are gaming videos about video games. Before there were video games, there were audio games, photo games, and then just word games. Uh, so. Okay, so that's just part one. And in part two, I'll continue on trying to put all these equations together uh, to show sort of like the math value of my name.